I guess I get ahead of myself. Uh, I don't think you know much about them, do you? No. Um, I thought they were just farmers before. I barely remember them. I was so young. Um, really, the only lasting impression I have is of my mother. And all I remember about that is that she was just, she was very pretty. She's always very kind, had a very peaceful way about her. But again, like I said, I was very young, so I don't remember much. Well, your, your mother, Kara, she was, um, she was an Asama, like I said before. A, what we call a wild magic sorcerer. I think much like yourself. Her husband, your father, Gideon. He was a a very skilled illusionist, a wizard. I'm not sure. I don't think you are quite aware of the differences being raised in the empire and it's what I've gathered from being around you, but well, sorcerers, they have innate magic abilities, much like yourself. Their power comes from within, either from some spark of unknown energy, from celestial creatures, perhaps infernal creatures, sometimes from dragons and their heritage, but... Oh, that was your mother. She had an innate spark. Her power flowed freely. You're actually a lot like your mother. Your so, father. Go ahead. No, she's just uh, at that. She kind of is trying to hold back some tears, just happy to hear something like that. He notices and... Your mother would be very proud of you. Especially from what you've accomplished here with me. That's good to hear. Your father was very skilled as well. Though his abilities came from the knowledge of the arcane. He studied arcane magic. It's, it's something that can all be attained and controlled by those who study it. It's, it's part of our life. It's part of this world. The Empire seems to forget that. He was very skilled in the ways of illusion. He would disguise a lot of, a lot of the pathways and safe houses that the the people who use the tunnel of liberation he would disguise them to provide provide cover and obscurity although um i've well I've, i'm an elf i've been around a long time it lasted but a blink of an eye for me, just five years. But even though it only lasted five years, it allowed hundreds of practice casters and natural casters to escape the Empire. One night, when you were very young, Marian Knights caught wind of this operation and they hunted them down. I know not the details, only that it ended with their lives. I 
I'm sorry, Gemma. I'm I'm happy to hear that they fought bravely. They heard they died bravely for what they believed in and helped so many people. I never really understood any of this, only what the Empire taught us and um, to hear that they did so much good for all these other people makes me very proud of them and proud to be their daughter. You should be. They were heroes, true heroes, good people. Arcane magic can be dangerous, but only if you allow it to be a secret, to keep it hidden, to keep it uncontrolled. Um, that's why it's important that I think you need to leave. You've got, you've done a great job at your training. You have gotten the basics down. There's a lot more to learn. But you are talented. I cared a lot about your parents. And I would hate to see you befall the same fate as them. Um, part of why I came up here was to also thank you for everything that you showed me. It was very important for me to learn how to control my powers so I wouldn't hurt anyone. Um, I hurt a lot of people before not knowing how to control them. And I feel a little bit more confident that I can prevent that from happening um, on accident. Um, but here, uh, and she fishes through her bag and says, um, I don't, I don't suppose that I can use this, but I found, uh, I found this uh, on my way up here um, from uh, from when we left, or our, on our travels rather. And she hands him the, uh, the spell book from the Warlock's Tower, um, from the Bloody Orlof. Knuckles. No, not, not Orlof, uh oh. the Bloody Knuckles Warlock, I think it was. Um, mm -hmm. There was a spell book in there. was there. a spell yeah. book, and I, I said, I, I, I know this is very dangerous. It was in the manor. Sorry, it was in the uh, Okay, yeah, yeah, all right. Um, the manner. I, I know this is dangerous and it's very beautiful, but I like, I don't think that I can use this. And it would only put me and my friends in more danger. Uh, it, perhaps it's better in your hands where it can be kept safe, uh, or put to good use. And she hands it to us. Just, this is, you know, a little thank you for everything that you showed me. I'm very, very grateful. He takes it almost like it's very precious, rare object. There's not many of these left. Starts to look through the spell book with just, just this reverence. I also can't use it, but I know those who can. Thank you. This can help. This will help. Kind of like holds it into his chest. I hope it does. I hope it does. It will. <sighs> he can't, he leans over and gives you a hug. And I just return the hug back and um, my friends and I are leaving in the morning. Um, hopefully we'll see you again. We're here for you again. I think you will. I hope so. Remember, you have the ear. ear. You can talk, <laughs> yeah, talk to me anytime. And... All right. <laughs> hey, be, be careful out there. 
I'll do my best. You're... You're a watcher now. Don't forget that. 